There might be a lot of bloopers, you know. This is the first time I'm in the spotlight. <laughs> Maybe I will keep that. Maybe you can. Okay, that sounds very good. <laughs> Hello, Miracles. How are you? This is Juliet. I'm here with the next episode. I have my dear friend Jose. Jose and I, we met at Finca in Colombia. Um, he's a musician and he um, practices Yahe medicine like me. We are besties, we are brother and sister, because yeah. it's so funny, every time you talk about Finca, it's like, it's a brother, it's a sister. <laughs> it's a bro All of them are brothers and sisters, yeah. <laughs> but the funny part is, it's not real, you know, I mean, we're soul brothers and soul sisters. So, um, Jose is visiting LA, and um, we get a chance to meet, and I just find out some new stuff about him, which I didn't know. He told me he is a Tibetan medicine practitioner. I have no idea what that is, so I wanted to ask him what that is. First of all, tell me, what is Tibetan medicine? Okay, so what is Tibetan medicine? <clears throat> it's, we could start from so many different places, you know, because Tibetan medicine actually, it is truly, you could say, a spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. It is truly a spiritual practice, which was, has been aiding the monks and the spiritual practitioners, especially from Tibetan Buddhism, of course, and people from the Tibet, and also Bon traditions, which are like old, ancient, shamanic traditions mm -hmm. of, of spiritual traditions, and also medicine traditions from the Tibet. But it later developed into more and more and more uh, a used common medicine for the people. But uh, initially it was a medicine kept really secretive, secretly i guess mm -hmm. in monasteries for the monks to be used mm -hmm. same with astrology they would mm -hmm. mix like astrology and medicine and uh, for just their spiritual practice you know, monks are always exceeding like, monks are like having really tough lives so they have they need like a science of life a science of healing so they can promote their longevity promote their good the good health the uh, like peace of mind so they can keep doing their meditation and, and now stuff. this practice is more available for the regular public so now the practices are more available and to us and to, to us Westerners. yeah no we're really lucky right now because it was truly the dalai lama who uh, the 13th dalai lama and now it's the 14th dalai lama the 13th he opened something called the tibetan medi like medical astro institute mm. and so when he opened that then college came and the research centers came and then that was in Tibet. Then mm -hmm. when Dalai Lama was uh, basically thrown away, he had to flee Tibet and went to India. Then they moved all that to India and from there it started to grow, grow and get like recognition in the European countries and now America. So uh, I'm assuming it's all holistic, natural stuff uh -huh. that you, Tibetan medicine, Tibetan medicine is yeah. about, right? It's using herbs, using exactly. oils and all that stuff. Yeah. I know um, I'm a huge fan of Dave Asprey mm -hmm. and I'm a big I'm big on ha hacking and keto and all that stuff that you guys all know. I know um, Dave Asprey find out about um, the f butter coffee. Uh -huh. He kind of like he went to Tibet and he learned that from Tibetan people. There's this thing called the yak butter. The yak butter. So I know also the fat is really good for your there's Body. something you don't know about the yak butter, though. Tell me. <laughs> okay, so there's something very important. Give me fat. And give me fat. I, uh, I, like, I love fat. Well, a, a yak will never give you butter, actually, or milk. Because yak, and that's something that happened to me. I studied in Nepal, and when I went there, I would say yak milk. But yak actually is the male. The male. It's like saying a, ho a, a horse won't, you gi won't give you milk, you know? Wait, it's a female horse. So actually, the real name is D. Yak is a Tibetan word, and then the, for the female, the one that actually is giving the mil milk is D. Okay, so tell me, tell me how beneficial fat is for us. Because I know it feeds the mitochondria, uh -huh. it, it gives energy, it's a, it's a jet fuel instead of, you know, using the carbs as... As the energy as source. every or... two hour you eat, you, you know, like uh -huh. keto diet is mostly on high fat and protein and everything, but... Um, in the traditional aspect of Tibetan medicine, where do they use the fat? Like how 
fat is incorporated into daily life for mm -hmm. longevity. Like, what's the role of fat that's in Tibetan medicine? Exactly, that's what I want to know. So fat... Finally, I got my question out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was like, we refined the question very nicely. <laughs> I'm new to this, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, tell I'm... me about it. <laughs> I'm in the spotlight now. I, w I was doing this, I'm like, you gotta do a video with me, you gotta do it. He's like, okay. So. No, no, it's super cool. <laughs> no, that's a great mm. question. Um, I've been into fat also. I'm, I'm not in. I don't practice keto. Let's say as per se, I don't mm. practice fully like super, super high fat for different reasons. Just for my personal body constitution and what I'm looking for. But fat has a huge, tremendous role in in all Eastern medicines. Like mm -hmm. all Eastern medicines, and we can include Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine. Um, fat is basically a longevity promoter. Why? Because we talk about elements in Tibetan medicine. Mm -hmm. So we talk about the five elements we all generally know, earth, water, fire, air, mm -hmm. space elements. And then when it comes to oil, oil has, let's say, we could say the earth and the water element. So it brings, uh, let's say, a certain quality that roots down and nourishes. Like that's the earth. The earth is nourishing, it's grounding. And the water element is bring, which is the liquidity, let's say, the, the liquid movement of oil is deeply nourishing deeply penetrating into the body and the tissues and and the brain it makes it more lucrative it's like the car doesn't run without oil yes yes exactly it's like the oil <clears throat> that is working on the car then there's different also types of fats and how we use them and what periods of of the year we use more of them let's say but when it comes to to these two elements and the fat itself we want to control for longevity for mm -hmm. longevity and for nourishing the body and for controlling all kinds of like factors like hormonal imbalances chronic illnesses and you name it you know so many things we want oils because they bring a certain energy in the body which is the wind energy mm -hmm. this is called lung in tibetan medicine this is called bata in in ayurvedic medicine you can it we use different words uh, to explain the same energy, which is the wind energy is the most basic, let's say primordial energy of the body, mm -hmm. which is the breath, which is what is in the nervous system, which is what promotes the blood to circulate. So it's basically what is giving vitality, you know, it's like leaves of a tree. Mm -hmm. They have like the water going through the stems and it's giving like the fullness to the leaf. Mm -hmm. and, and what keeps that water like moving into the, into the leaf, it's that lung energy. So how do you, incorporate fat into your daily life what do you mm, what do you use that's a wonderful i mean we, we, we live in america like how do people get access to like what should we buy okay so what should we buy besides grass-fed butter and mm -hmm. uh, coconut oils or mct oil well, i'm gonna give you a, a great one okay give me great the one. great the most revered and praised oil in 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 tibet at least for longevity as an aphrodisiac as a, a tonifier I'm for the digestion, uh -huh. yeah. As a tonifier for, the, of course. The, I'm also taking it already now. <laughs> As a ton I, will, I will take it gallon a day. <laughs> no, actually, the doctor with whom I've been studying, he says um, <laughs> use sesame oil, and, and it's written on I the heard, root text. I do oil pulling with sesame oil. I heard oil oil. for the mouth. Yeah, yeah. I, I oil pull every day, and I use sesame oil. But how do we take the sesame oil? You just take it. You out. can actually use it for your coffee. You can actually use it for a smoothie. You can actually just take the pure and organic sesame oil. Oh, cold press a teaspoon you can take three teaspoons a day three one teaspoon three times a day so one teaspoon one teaspoon three times a day yeah that's really warming in quality like, it warms up the blood it warms up the digestion it gives strength to the body like for winter times right now it's really good for uh, the brain it's amazing it literally what it does is brings down the the lung energy the winds of the body that keeps us like like what what later on develops into bone problems, into skin problems, into uh, the digestion problems, into like anxiety, depression. So that's the wind energy. We want to control that. And wrinkles, <laughs> of course, due to the stress and wrinkling the face. Then later on, all these different, let's say, symptoms they build up, which is different, let's say, factors of health that are being affected that don't allow us to have a, a long life. Um. And so we are stressed or we're depressed or we're anxious. Or we're building certain things in the body, which later on, oh, osteoporosis or like a complete hormonal mess. So those we have to control since very early stages, yeah. controlling the wind energies and many other factors. But the wind energy is a big one. 
And so we control that and then of course the body will like flourish. It's like it wants to live. It's at peace. It's nice. It's nourished. It's strong. So we take it, does it matter? Empty stomach, full stomach? Like I don't eat till two. I, if you I, have, I have my bulletproof coffee every morning. Uh -huh. I don't think I would put it in my coffee because it might change the taste. Yeah, yeah I think it's So the maybe I'll take the, you know, oil, one tablespoon? One tablespoon, yeah. Before yeah, I Yeah, I would coffee. start with one teaspoon, it's strong. Teaspoon? Yeah, some people have strong reactions to sesame. Okay, so make it one teaspoon. But always ask your doctor, huh? I mean, I'm just sharing this information, but that doesn't mean you go do it. You know, if you want to do it, do it, but do it on your own, um, yeah. you know, on your own time and you are responsible. I'm not telling anyone to go drink a gallon of sesame oil. <laughs> but you can definitely apply it without any fear. Yeah. Even the, the skin is the biggest organ we have. Everything so goes to the skin. can we put it on our body? For massage, is the best massage. I so use you, almond because almond? I know almond oil um, detoxes it, the skin after you put it on. Oh, I haven't I heard do, that. I do dry brush before I go into the shower. Uh -huh. I dry brush it backwards, mm -hmm. get the blood activated, and then I put um, almond oil, mm -hmm. and then I go in the shower mm -hmm. because I heard the almond oil... Um, cleans the pores or takes the toxins out or something. So, so you're doing the whole ritual. I'm doing the whole ritual, but now I'm I'm thinking, in um, taking sesame oil in the morning, noon mm -hmm. or before bed. Mm -hmm. Should I also put it on my body? Yeah, yeah. So for longevity, yeah, this is something that we could actually uh, make a, a a nice video just in this, okay. which is the thirteen. It's called the 13 Life Advices of Yutok Yonten Gompo. Yutok Yonten Gompo is the founder of Tibetan medicine, let's say. And he made a, a chapter. It's a very beautiful thing to talk about Tibetan medicine because Tibetan medicine comes really shortly. It comes basically all summarized in the Gyushi. Gyushi is four books, which is basically prayers, like mantras. You won't change them. Mm -hmm. And all the skeleton of Tibetan medicine is there. And so uh, there's chapters for everything. One chapter for this, one chapter for that. Like they go from the very beginning, like when Medicine Buddha gave the teaching, mm -hmm. all the way to when Medicine Buddha gives you the full the full transmission. The last chapter is like the entrustment. Like, do you have a book you can recommend? Do you know? By um, the top of yeah. Your head yes. 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 Doctor Nida's uh, Tibetan Book of Health. Okay, I'm going to put that in the description. You guys can um, check that out. Tibetan Book of Health. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I didn't finish. So those 13 life advices, are. he gave a, a chapter on the 13 life advices for prolonging longevity, mm -hmm. where he talks about exercise, sleeping, diet, uh, and he talks about bathing, taking showers, and he talks about oil massage. And so he says mm -hmm. for regular oil massage is one of the specific techniques to prolong life. It's very, very, it grounds, it grounds, it grounds the energy, protects the body. You can do it a full ritual. The, that, that takes time also. If you don't have time, you know, just at night, you can, if you have a partner or yourself, you, see, you can self-massage. You know? I make time. Yes. I love myself. Yes. It's like, it's something for me. I, I always tell myself, it's either this or going to the doctor later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, sometimes I spend so much money on the organic oil or... I do saunas and you know I buy all these supplements I'm like it's either this or a doctor like you pick yeah. you know if you don't take care of your health right now you'll be like paying for it in the future literally and figuratively yeah literally. so that's why I'm I love sharing all this stuff well thank you so much thank you very much um, Jose will be posting more videos on this on his channel which I'm actually forcing him to create one <laughs> because this information needs to be out there Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you on the next episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you coming. so much, guys. Thank you so much, Julia. So nice to be with you. Oh, <laughs> much love. Bye.